Hello everyone, welcome to Beauty in the Garden. I'm T. I'm so excited to show you guys how the garden is growing. It is so amazing how everything has really taken off, even though we have some very cold weather. With this cold weather, it has knocked some plants back, but some plants are still thriving. I'm hoping that you guys' this garden is doing as amazing as well. Now we will get some loss due to some of the cold weather. Now I am in zone eight, uh, North Carolina, and as well, some of you guys in my zone quite understand when it came down to the cold, it can knock our plants back, but hopefully some of them will still bounce back. Right here I'm showing you guys is a table scrap. This is a onion bottom that I placed into the ground. If you did not know that you can take your onion bottoms, cut roughly about a good half an inch from the base so that you will have enough tissue to plant into the ground and you will get more onions. Now, as they come out like this, you can break them apart and place them individually and hopefully you can get a nice size bulb. Now, sometimes you won't, but if not, you can still enjoy those green tops. As we move along in the garden, I am showing you guys is a flat Dutch cabbage. Now, a flat Dutch cabbage is a great cabbage to grow. It actually is a very massive size cabbage. You can get up to a 10 pound head. Now, I did go online and see that you can actually plants up a different variety of cabbage that actually will get a lot, lot bigger. So I will be looking into purchasing that, you guys. So stay tuned to see if I can grow this massive cabbage next season. All right, so, but these are the flat Dutch. I have about five or six planted in this small area here. And they all are doing great. The cold did not knock them back. And right in the front, I did show you guys how to go about planting up your garlic. And then I popped in here is some Swiss chard. Back here is a beautiful magenta color Swiss chard. And then right in front of that magenta Swiss chard, I planted up a ruby red. There are so many colors of Swiss chard that are out there. So if you just wanna pop a color in your garden, Swiss chard is definitely the way to go. And it's a four season uh, crop. So you can plant that all season long and enjoy the heat and the cold. Um, and as well, sometimes I like to pop them into containers just to get that pop of color throughout the garden. Here is a golden potted pea. I am gonna let these peas, you guys, go to seed because I did not get that many in the pot, I mean, in the pack. And um, you guys, I just was like, you know what? Go ahead and collect the seeds and pop them up next season. So for spring, I will be popping these guys back into the ground. But you guys, 15 seed per pack, I decided to just go ahead and let it go to seed. Now, this is the golden variety of uh, sweet peas. And then I actually planted up over here is the blush pink potted sweet pea. And I think these are going to be absolutely adorable. They actually got a little pinkish tinge to it. And I did purchase another one. It was a dark, dark purple. I did not plant them up, you guys, this year. But I will be planting them up come spring. But I'm going to be saving the seeds for these as well. So as I go along in the garden, you guys, I always try to tell you guys to make plans when you're going throughout your garden to kind of think about all the things that you want for next season. Um, this is the best time, it's the downtime, it's the winter, uh, fall and winter garden because you will get to know rather not rather you want to do this or that and you have a little bit more time to purchase your seeds, plan out your beds and get your beds ready, uh, especially if you are in a lot colder area where you uh, feel like you want to just go ahead and let your bed rest I would cover those you guys with some leaves or some cardboard or some type of tarp okay and then I popped in right here you guys is a giant um, Japanese giant uh, mustard um, there and that's my Thai basil I actually still trying to grow back um, but I'm quite sure the cold is gonna knock it back and here is the red vein sorrel definitely great in a salad so if you want something to pop in your salad this is a great one to do so okay and it and it's a perennial so definitely try to put it in somewhere that you can continually make sure that you can harvest from it all year long 
but the garlic is coming up amazing now with all of my plants you guys i try to give them a good feeding um definitely when it comes down to our brassicas especially our leafy greens we want to make sure that nitrogen is in that soil so definitely doing a little bit of feeding will work out perfectly and cleaning up under the base of your plants is going to keep out those slugs snails and pests that you don't want in your garden or gnawing on to your plants and destroying your crops so definitely definitely pay attention to those things but when it comes down to our greens we definitely want that nitrogen i do feed my plants with fish emulsion it is um, a very mild fertilizer and i do like to come in and feed them when i see any type of yellowing or dulling of the plant and i'll come in and i'll give them a good feeding which i do is two tablespoons of fish emulsion to two gallons of water and i think that's just a perfect uh, solution uh, for my plants and i've just been doing that for years and years and years and it just has been working out great so if you just want some type of formula or some type of regimen in your garden i think you should write it down and just figure out what works in your garden and believe me your garden will thrive all right Now I'm thinking that I want to plant up some more of the cabbages for the spring. So I'm probably gonna start them, you guys, in January so I can plant them out into the garden. And I'm going to be putting those, you guys, into containers and not into the beds because I want my bed um, utilized for my spring and summer crops. So I will be putting my cabbages into containers and plus I'll be able to control the pests on those plants because I will have them in containers and I can move them throughout the garden wherever well I want them anywhere I want them to place them so that's what I will be doing okay If you're looking for seeds, I do have seeds, but definitely go on different type of sites and find different varieties. I think that's a great way to shop for your new upcoming spring garden. If you see your garlic is rusting, um, sometimes that could be um, a problem with the soil or lack of watering, things like that. So just pay attention to your garlic leaves. So as we stroll along in the garden, right here is a Napa cabbage. Oh my gosh, I love my Napas. And here is my chives. I'm going to actually divide my chives up come spring and I'm going to place them into um, separate individual containers. And then my salvias are trying to come back. So I'm going to grind up some leaves and cover them so that they won't get burnt. And they definitely will come back beautifully come spring. And I, it's a beautiful pop of color um, right there on my prep table. The mums as well, if you want them to come back nice and full, cut them back and they'll come back every year. Mums is considered a perennial here in North Carolina, zone 8A. This is another Napa. And then I have another Napa in the far corner. I'm so happy that my Napas are heading up. And like I told you guys on a previous video, I wish I planted a little bit more Napas, but hey, it is what it is. Um, when, you, when you look at your garden, you think you planted everything that you want in it, and then you realize you didn't. So I have to go back, you guys, and start taking those notes and realize that I really like my Napa's and my dumplings. So I really want to go ahead and make sure that I do plant up more Napa's. And you guys, I was just showing you was the carrots that came up beautifully. Here, I popped in the middle of this is a giant red mustard and around that is all of the cauliflower. And this right here is a beautiful daikon radish. You guys, those radishes grow really fast and you guys, the daikons that I planted over there by the greenhouse are growing quickly. Now over here in the back wall here of the main garden, I planted up some Brussels sprouts along the back end of these pots. And as you guys can see, they're doing great. Um, 
I planted every other one with a green and a purple, green and a purple. And then in front, I planted up the cabbages. Here's the tot soy. If you did not like tot soy, you guys, you got to try it because I love tot soy. Tot soy almost tastes like spinach and cabbage mixed together. And it's just, it's just a great pop in the salad, great in the stir fry. So definitely, definitely try it. Here's my lettuce wall. Um, they're doing great. Um, the cold did look a little funny, so I'm hoping they still pan out. And then all of this, you guys, is all my mixed up brassicas. Now I did pop in there is um, purple top turnips. And then in the front of there is little onions. You can't even see them, they look like little grass, um, but they're there and they're doing absolutely amazing. Now I hope you guys truly enjoy my content. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I do upload a video. And let's you guys get out into our gardens and grow as much food as we can to provide for our families. And like I always tell you guys, there's beauty in everyone's garden. And bye-bye for now. Bye-bye, you guys.